Okay, I'm going to go ahead, um, hold on, and read to you guys Genesis 12. Um, this, look, I know that last year was a lot of prophetic words and you're moving. And of course, not of those, not a lot of those words for were meant for certain people. And then they got discouraged. Um, that's why we have to test the spirit, test the word and see if this word is for us. And plus we will already know if a word is for us, if the Lord has already spoke this in our spirit many times. And so, um, when he sends, um, you know, someone like me to get on here and, um, basically confirm something for you, that means it was already confirmed from the Lord at first, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to, um, I was led to read um, Genesis 12 and it's talking about Abraham. Let me go ahead and start reading. Now in Haran, the Lord had said to Abram, go away from your country and from your relatives and from your, come on now. And from your, your father's house. I'm reading from the amp version. Um, and this is, um, the, by the phone is pointing to the, the King James. So it says, go away from your country and from your relatives and from your father's house to the land, which I will show you. And I will make you a great nation. A lot of you haven't been able to prosper. Like God wants you to prosper or have the promises, um, come to you the way you have desired, because you're not in the place where the Lord wants to bless you. He said, and I will make you a great nation, right? He said, and I will bless you abundantly. Okay. A lot of the things that you have been waiting for, wasn't meant for you to have it where you are because what he was saying, go far from your country and from your relatives and from your father's house to the land, which I will show you. And I will make you a great nation and I will bless you abundantly and make your name great, exalted distinguished. Okay. And you shall be a blessing, a source of great good to others. A lot of you have many visions, right? And things that you want to do, but you also have, um, a lot of enemies and a lot of people that think you're a joke. A lot of people that mock you. Um, a lot of people that called you crazy and they're saying all manner of things about you. And you know, this, this is happening in your life. Um, and there are so many things that the Lord has put into you that he wants to, um, that he has, it's going to make room for you. There's so many gifts and talents that he has put in you to make room for you to bless others. It says, and you shall be a blessing, a source of great good to others. Okay. And it says, I will bless, um, and I will bless, do good for and benefit those who bless you. And I will curse that is subject to my wrath and judgments, the ones who curse, despise, dishonors, and has contempt for you. And in you, all the families and nations of the earth will be blessed. Um, and this is when, um, in verse four, so Abraham departed in faithful obedience as the Lord has directed him and Lot, his nephew left with him. Abram was 75 years old when he had left Haran. Abraham took Sarah, his wife, Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his nephew, and all their possessions, which they had acquired. Um, so a lot of you, the Lord is just telling you, pack up, take all your possessions that you have acquired. And the people and the servants or whoever God has told you to take with you, the people and the servants was they had acquired in Haran. And they set out to go to a land of Canaan. When they came to the land of Canaan, Abraham passed through the land as far as the site of Shechem to the great uh, terebinth oak tree of Marah. Okay. And now the Canaanites were in the land at that time. And the Lord prepared to Abraham. I'm sorry. Then the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, I will give this land to your descendants. Okay. So Abraham built an altar there to honor the Lord who had appeared to him. And so, um, wow, four, four, four. I did doing this message because the Lord had, led me to it, um, again, for, to, to, for a confirmation to you, many of you, the Lord, um, 
has had you um, separate, right? Um, and and told you many certain people can't go because they're going to be. Um, and let me tell you why. I'm about to go to this right now um, and read this verse. One second. One second. And this is why the Lord said there's people that can't go because in numbers, and he already told you the individuals that can't come with you. He needs you to be focused on the purpose and the destiny that he has aligned for you and your new family um, walking into the kingdom marriage. And it says um, the reason why he said he can't go, he said, but if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land, this is numbers 33, 55. But if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land, those you allow to remain will become barbs in your eyes and thorns in your sides. And they will give you trouble in the land where you live. Live. It is a hard thing to take, try to take along people with you that think you're crazy, that don't walk by faith. Okay. And that is, that will be, um, like a thorn in your side. So I just want to encourage you, take this message to the Lord. God, the Lord is sending you somewhere to a new land to be fruitful and to multiply with your family and your, your spouses. And he's making all things new. So, um, and to prosper you, right? So go ahead. And I encourage you to read Genesis chapter 12 again, to get the revelation from the Lord yourself, please. <laughs> and, um, I believe that is all stay encouraged.